Charlie Andrews. How's it going, man? Good. How are you, sir? I'm doing good. I'm doing great. That's good. That's good. What are you doing in City Park? I'm just out here, just chilling, checking out the scenery. You know, sometimes I like to come out here, sit by the water, just to clear my head a little bit. Sweet. Tell us about yourself. My name is Charlie. I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana, Seven Ward. And that's basically it. How did you start your YouTube channel? And for how long? I started my YouTube channel by over a period of few years. Uh, a few of my friends had messaged me um, asking uh, to do some cooking demonstrations on YouTube. They were like, oh Charlie, you know, um, you ever thought about doing videos, you know, posting on YouTube? And at first I was kind of skeptical about it, you know, wasn't really sure how it was going to work or anything. And in 2013 I just decided to just uh, start uh, doing some cooking videos and just went from there. Have you met any of your subscribers? Yes, I have. I've met um, quite a few of them just out and about doing different things. I run into one of them. How does it make you feel? Um, it's actually a wonderful feeling um, just to meet them and to hear their stories about um, how much they enjoy my cooking channel and the recipes they've tried, all of them with success. Um, it's a good feeling to uh, hear from subscribers and be able to see them. What's your favorite types of food to cook or bake? Um, in terms of food, I would have to say red beans and rice because that's one of the first things I really learned how to cook. And in terms of baking, um, I would have to say the pound cakes since they're easy to make and it's the most requests that I actually get from people when I bake or sell my uh, cakes. What's your favorite type of cake to make? My favorite type of cake again is the pound cake. How old were you when you first started cooking? Um, I would have to say around... I would say about 9 or 10. Um, my mother gave me permission to make a uh, cornbread and uh, yeah, that was my first time I actually ever did it. That was like a cornbread. And then after that, um, I started experimenting with different things. Um, one of my first things I really learned how to do was these pig and the blankets. Uh, it was I took biscuit dough and added um, bacon, ham, cheese, and stuff like that. And uh, I think that's where all my experimenting with cooking started um, with that. So, Jelly. Yeah, so that's about the infamous table bang, man. <laughs> I knew you were gonna ask me about that, man. Um, the table bang was literally by accident, though, because when I was doing the uh, shrimp pasta video in 2014, um, for some reason, when I taste the food, I just had that urge to to, to hit on the table, and when I first did it, everybody was like, "Oh my God!" You know that was nice you know do it again do it again and I just kept doing it and kept doing it yeah and it's, it's really a favorite among subscribers people really really like that uh, I think it's really the um, most entertaining part of my videos a lot of people get a little laugh and a little kick out of that and it, it's, it's fun I, I like it have you thought about doing cooking classes no I have not um, that's not something I've uh, ever really thought about even though I've been asked uh, many times from people whether or not if I am going to do cooking classes, um, YouTube is basically the cooking class. I mean, one on one with me, basically. So it's like, you know, um, I don't think that I would ever get to that point. So, Charlie, yeah? do you sell any of your big goods? Yes, I do. Um, I sell a lot of desserts. Um, I do uh, sell cakes, pound cakes, birthday cakes. Um, I've even sold some of my food items as well. Uh, at least once a year I have like a supper that's like uh, where they'll have a certain food items on a plate with a drink and dessert and everything on the side for a certain price. Um, Charlie, 
Have you ever thought about selling any merchandise? I have not. Um, that's not something I really thought about. I really have a hard time with that because I don't know what it is that I want to sell. I think that'll be uh, for something for my subscribers to decide on whether or not what I should sell or what not. So Charlie, yeah, have you ever thought about coming out with a cookbook? Yes, I have. Um, I've gotten a lot of requests, a lot of requests for it over the past five years. I think I owe it to my subscribers to release a cookbook, so it is possible that in the near future that I will release one. Charlie, what do you enjoy doing more, cooking or baking? That's a good question. I would have to say baking because I was known for my baking before I was known for my cooking and as you can see from all the recipes I have on my YouTube channel I have mostly baking recipes more than what I have cooking recipes so I would say both of them are kind of like neck and neck with each other I, I like to bake and then I like to cook as well so yeah Charlie, have you ever thought about opening a restaurant? I have not. That's not something that really crossed my mind. I know I've gotten a lot of compliments and questions regarding the restaurant, but that's not something that um, I want to pursue uh, as like my career or my dream or anything like that. I just, you know, I like to cook and bake from home in the comfort of my own home at that. So, uh, but you, you never say never, you know, I can never say never. Uh, it is possible that it could happen one day, but um, for now it's, it's a no for me. Do you have any future plans for you and your YouTube channel? I currently do not really have much plans for my YouTube channel, even though I do want to continue doing videos in the near future. I just don't know what the future holds for the channel. Uh, hopefully in the next few years I'll still be doing this, you know. Um, but other than that, I'm going to just keep doing what I'm doing. And that's it. How can your subscribers support you? Yes, my subscribers can support me uh, by my website. I will have the links to the website in the description box. If you want to know the website, it's www.charliecookandrews.com. I also have a GoFundMe account set up where uh, people can donate if they choose to. I'm going to have the link to that in the description box as well. And I also have a link where you can donate via PayPal as well. Any advice you would want to give a person who is starting a YouTube channel? Specifically, a cooking channel. YouTube channel. Yeah. Um, the number one thing that I would tell you is to stay consistent and just keep doing what you're doing. Don't pay attention to the amount of videos you do, the amount of views you get, or even the amount of subscribers you get. Um, just focus on, you know, creating some good content when you create good content and people see that you work hard the more subscribers you get the more views you get um, it's really not all about the video that you release I mean when I first started in 2013 I, um, I just released five videos and I left for like seven months and came back and just went from there. One thing I did was just release videos and you know. But as far as advice goes, I would just say stay consistent. Take breaks whenever you need to. Um, don't feel obligated to release videos. Even if you feel pressured, um, take your time. Don't rush.
because things don't happen overnight. Look at me in my case. I, it took me five years to get to 50,000 subscribers and over 4 million views. So, I mean, you know, but that came with hard work and, you know, I just uh, took my time and just did everything like I was supposed to, you know. No one's perfect, you know. Just keep doing what you're doing. So, Charlie, thank you for your day, man. You're welcome. No problem. I will enjoy it, uh, the time. See you around soon. Peace. Hey, what's up, everybody? I want to send a special thank you out to those of you who watched the video and to my subscribers. Thank you all so very much for watching the video. It was a uh, very hard work to record and very difficult to answer some of the questions. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. And until next time, take care and I hope you all have a blessed day. Peace.